You're welcome for the five year old. Tipperudo the honor. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Brutally and Honest, number two. Oh, I threw something up. Throw something up there. Oh my god. Yes, yes, I'm talking about colleges. Oh yes, today I am being brutally honest on an education system of wherever the fluff I am. Because as we all know, the kids are wondering, should I go to college? Should I not go to college? What do I get out of going to college? What do I get from not going to college? And I'm here to tell you exactly what I think. See, wearing my sky jacket. Uh huh. So let's get to it. First things first. Let's answer the question: Should I or should I not go to college? Now this is a dependent question. What is your goal in life? Because if your goal is not to struggle through life, and you know. Have a hope of getting a huge career with, you know, maybe thousands of dollars flowing to you. There's two things you're going to need. College is one of them. The other one, they do not tell you. It's a dark secret. Anyway, it's a certification. Because a lot of things that the colleges fail to mention, and my college mentioned it many times, but they did not stress on how important that certification will become. They did not stress it enough. They tell you every class, hey, there's a cert for this class, you should go get it. Should? More like if you don't get it, you're gonna have trouble getting a job. And it's pretty obvious that they don't tell you the exact position that you're being put in. Now as for me, my externship was taken away because I can't drive and all the externships were far away from me even though I could have took the bus system and blah 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 the path the path you know it makes sense that I would struggle getting a job with no experience now I have about six months of experience other than college and I still have trouble finding a job why is this I go to indeed.com now, I know a lot of people use Monster and whatnot, but I use Indeed. Hold in there for a minute. I go to Indeed.com, and I search down, scroll down through the the listings, and I'm looking at all the jobs, and all of a sudden, bam, I find what I want. I click on it. Guess what I see? Bachelor's degree or four years of experience. Cool, got a bachelor's degree. Line below it. Certification required. Now, colleges should tell you that 99.5% of these jobs out there, if you can't face up with a certification, you can't face up at all. And it's really bad. Now, I'm being brutally honest as I say these things, but I am being honest on my opinion. Certifications are more powerful than the college itself. Because certification says you know how to do it this way and you know how to do it right. College just says you learn how to do it this way, but we don't know if it's right or not because we just gave you a C in the class. And, you know, we're not even going to look at your grades, but, you know, that's how we're going to do it. And it's really weird because a lot of these colleges are accredited, qualified to teach your children or you. The things that they do. Not going to go into ITT Tech and how it was dropped. And I use that T heavily because ETPI took the put putting of that hit. And now I get to the next step. The next question. What are the perks of going to college? Now, other than the discounts you get on good merchandise and computers and whatnot, 
there are a few perks of going to college. You do get a piece of paper that you can rub your butt with. You know, in case you run out of toilet paper, because, you know, hold on a second. Yeah. 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 Ah, there we go. Ah, pull that out of my butt. Oh, man, that, that was a big trick. So, yeah, this piece of paper that I don't even care for that much. Oh, look, there's my business license and stuff. I didn't even know that was in there. This sheet, the hell was that? This piece of paper that even I do not care for, this degree, you might as well take it and throw it because it's not going to do anything for you without a certification. And God, that was heavy. I hope the neighbors didn't hear it. Okay, so now we know the step two. You need perks, don't you? You were talking about perks, 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 perks. What's good about going to college? Well, you got, besides a piece of paper that you can rub your butt with, it's a beautiful toilet paper, and it makes your poops look all shiny and whatnot. But regardless of that, you get discounts on the certs. The certs that you need to get that job over there. And that's the problem, because without the search, without the experience, you're nothing, you're a nobody, you're just not able to measure up. And these colleges are trying to prepare you for the search, but the funny thing is, most of the search can be earned without the college's, sorry, not my bottle over, without the college's help, because they pretty much put you in a classroom, hand you a book, Tell you to read it, do whatever it says inside the book, and then move on. I didn't have to read a book to learn how to drink. I just learned how to do it with my hands on still. If I pour it like this, it's going to spill on my shoulder. Pretty much the same concept. You try, you do, you fail. You note, you do again, you try again, you fail, you note. Same thing. And these colleges are teaching you the fundamentals of how to walk, how to drink. And I do not say it lightly. Again, I'm being brutally honest. Do not agree with it. Now, the pros and cons are there. The pro, you get a degree. Cool. You can become you can become a accredited uh, computer information science person, but then you have to pay the forty thousand dollars for that piece of paper out of loans or financial aid. That wipes that one out. There's another pro. You get a discount for certification. Now, that one, the cert only lasts for what six years, and then you gotta go back and pay that discount again. Unless you went back and became a barred person because you couldn't finish the classes, then that discount's gone. So, you know, it's really up to you when it comes down to choosing what college you go to. But if I was to make an, ad, an application or an advice, go to a college that tells you everything. Unfortunately, about being brutally honest, there was a few things my college did not tell me about financial aid and whatnot. About the drop rate, they just told me that if you drop out, that you would pay $200 for a returner's fee. They did not tell me that when you drop out, you automatically pay $365 for four weeks of class. That's right. Whatever class you drop out at, times whatever, whatever is long you've been in that school, by twenty dollars per hour. So if you were in there for half a year and you drop out, you're paying back that half a year, which could equal a total of eleven thousand dollars, and it could hurt your wallet pretty badly. So if you go to college, that's up to you. If not, that's up to you. I'm being brutally honest. This is buggy. Blah blah blah. Let's get going. If you like this video, I'll put the like button in the space, and I will see you 
on the next episode. Bye.